Hey guys, All in Crypto here and welcome back ladies and gentlemen for another YouTube video. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend and are having a happy Monday. Today we're going to be diving into our daily cryptocurrency market update where we try and keep you up to date with everything happening within the crypto space. Not just the crypto space, we also like to look at external markets and external factors that factor into our market and that's what we're going to be doing in this video how would i describe how i'm feeling about the current state of the cryptocurrency market i would use the words cautiously optimistic um because i still can't move away from some of the threats that we have elsewhere maybe playing in and becoming an issue to the cryptocurrency space um like we've already seen them be actually start to flare up again so we'll talk about it all in this video the fear and greed index is now in greed at 60. i really don't like how fast the cryptocurrency market sentiment changes um it feels very kind of schizophrenic to me it feels very you know emotionally driven from a day-to-day -day basis as somebody who spends a lot of time on twitter and of course in this space you know you can see people's emotions changing hourly um and what we try and do on this channel is give you guys a sort of bigger term time frame. Nobody is more bullish than me on the crypto space. It's a mantra that we've maintained from the start of this channel going forward. And the reason being is because we know that this is a technological revolution that is going to change the world uh, and implement itself within the world in a similar way to technological revolutions before it. So let's start with Bitcoin. We're going to be doing a number of things, looking at the S&P, the Nasdaq and the dollar, because they actually tell us quite a few interesting things about our market. Um, but we'll get into that in just a second. What we were indeed watching for Bitcoin, we've been range bound for over a year. Those of you that follow my content daily will know that we had this um, ascending triangle um, set up for you, where you had this kind of level, a very um, horizontal level of resistance and a um, rising support, ascending support. And this is what we were looking at. Many other people out there were calling for a symmetrical triangle, which is typically a continuation pattern for further downside, sort of taking us below that 30K range, meeting some of these lows. Still could be a potential play in the future. We could see a rollover, but for now, things look good. And we have indeed um, done what we sort of set out for Bitcoin, and that is escape this pattern um, and looking for more continuation to the ups upside. Just to give you a rough figure, of where this potentially could take you with this break, and we have spoke about it previously, around about that 58K range um, is what we're potentially looking at. Between 55 and 58K um, is potentially what you could be looking at. And that would bring a great deal of FOMO back into the markets. There's been a lot of uncertainty, not just in the crypto space, but markets in general, that I think when that uncertainty, when people have a clear direction, they'll, you know, they're, they're like sheep, they'll follow the leader um, and they'll essentially start piling back in you've still got a lot of stable coin reserves on exchanges you know we've been saying throughout this entire pullback your on-chain metrics look good uh, the other thing that we have been watching for bitcoin on the weekly and we've been keeping you up to date with it is indeed this uh uh macd cross that you've just had historically these have been extremely bullish events and we've seen continuation to the upside for bitcoin is history about to repeat well it has a high probability chance of doing so let's move on to ethereum ethereum actually looks pretty good this is a draw that we had before we had even made this breakout um we did it a couple of weeks ago um where we were looking at potentially being in a kind of broadening wedge structure um and we were going to see a kind of break to the upside. That has indeed happened. And of course, Bitcoin's really permission that for the altcoins. You've got the coins like Cardano that are doing extremely well. Lots of things going on. You know, if we talk about the MACD for um, Ethereum, very similar position. This is an impending, again, another testimony to the fact that Bitcoin really leads the markets. Um, you can see with the likes of Ethereum, you know, you've got this uh, bullish cross taking place on the MACD. And also, um, if we look at Cardano, you have a similar story being portrayed. In fact, we've just got that. Um, so things are looking good, um, but I would definitely say the way to describe how I'm feeling right now is cautiously optimistic. I'm not full bull. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm a bull macro time frame, full stop. There's no ifs, buts or anything, um, any way of getting around that. But certainly on a day-to-day -day time frame, I'm still remaining, remaining op uh, optimistic, but cautious. Because I still think, you know, this market can change on a dime. So can markets generally. And I still think um, the economy has some real threats ahead of it and lots of uncertainty. I did an amazing interview that I really have to edit. It's been 
Um, I've been saying this for a while now. I did the interview on Thursday with somebody who has a lot more market experience than myself. And we were talking about the yield curves and the potential end of a debt system uh, and how does crypto play into that narrative. So we've got some really good stuff coming for you on the channel. Some of the, uh, let's talk about the S&P first. Still seeing that correlation to the S&P in regards to we're going up with it, but that could just be a kind of overall indication of markets generally and how there's this kind of sigh of relief um, given just how uncertain everything was previously. We also had the Fed interest rate hike of only 25% um, or 25 basis points, sorry, which is a quarter of a percent, um, which kind of gave everyone a bit of a, again, sigh of relief that, you know, they weren't going to start doing 50 um, basis point rate hikes and so on and so forth. But again, this interview that I've got coming out will explain why the Fed actually can't continue to up interest rates by any sort of a significant measure. It's just not going to work. The system simply can't accommodate for it, um, given the amount of debt that we've got. So definitely stay tuned for that. NASDAQ, we're seeing actually not such a correlation. We're sort of moving more towards the S&P, which is more of a traditional, you know, potentially value, um, less risk off asset than the likes of the NASDAQ or indicator, I should say, which is more risk, lots of tech in there. Um, overvalued tech potentially and we're seeing that continue to not be as strong and we're seeing moves up for bitcoin and the s p which is good and one really interesting fact that we're seeing is we're actually seeing the dollar move up with the likes of um bitcoin which i like to see you know because there is a scenario we've been very counter um cyclical to the dollar but there is definitely room for the dollar and bitcoin going up on the fall of emerging nations you know for example the dollar is seeing um, a run-up against some currencies and not against others um there's a number of reasons for this um we're, we're going to go into it in great detail on the interview that i'm releasing um but you know you've got a lot of currencies like the euro etc that aren't doing too well in opposition with the dollar which is really um, allowing its index to show strength as it's made up of not just one um, pegged against currency but many so there's plenty of interesting things taking place some of the main articles that we have today is startup exchanges that see trillion dollar opportunity in combining digital and traditional assets, so TradFi. This is 100% coming, guys. Um, we already have this with the likes of stablecoins. Soon, potentially into the future, once we get more regulatory clarity, we can have things like derivatives. You know, it can all be ported over to blockchain along with everything else. This is why we're so bullish on crypto, because the use cases for it are really endless. Smart contracts, really. Bitcoin brought blockchain technology and this kind of idea of a decentralized ledger that's self-governing and, and fixed um, to the world. And then people like Vitalik, who's an absolute genius, even though we're a Cardano fan, you know, you've got to give nothing but credit to Vitalik, he created really uh, something out of nothing, um, created this idea of smart contracts. And that's how we are where we are. You know, it, it, it's the, work, the, the possibilities that smart contracts or the use cases that smart contracts can fulfill are endless, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and it's something I think you should all be very, very excited about this is another one here web3 onboarding the next billion users the road ahead and this is the road i believe we're on you know it's a very small um amount of the world's population that actually owns crypto owns bitcoin um and you know that is going to grow in itself the people that actually own it but one thing that i'm really excited about is the people that are going to use it you know there's a very small percent of people out there that actually use blockchain technology um in opposition with um or in comparison with the ones that own it so lots, quite a few people own it, not lots in the grand scheme of things, but in terms of people that use it, it's f marginal. Uh, and the real reason why is because people don't know how to, they've not been educated on it, which is what we try and do for you guys on this channel. And we are going to be doing a lot more videos, going into a lot more content in regards to using DeFi, because I've been a DeFi user before DeFi was even a thing. Um, and I think I have a very good understanding of it. I know what's safe and what's not, um, and kind of act accordingly. So that is really all I have for you in this video, guys. Um, it was just to kind of touch base. Again, we didn't put any cryptocurrency market updates out over the weekend. We did see a beautiful, this run up really occurred last night or la what was last night for me. Um, of course, many of you are on different time zones, but it is certainly a step in the right direction. We do have targets from the breakout of this ascending triangle um, and it would be nice to see them, but it's, it's gonna be, you know, we're not out of the woods yet by no means, shape or forms. We are still in, you know, this kind of a range, in my opinion. And we've just sort of taken that halfway mark um, is what I would say. Um, but we are potentially setting up for more continuation. The real, you know, there's a lot that could be taking place. You've got quite a, quite a few similarities um, with marginally higher highs across the board. You can compare it to your traditional financial assets. We've done it with Amazon, Apple, um, and you can see how 
you know, we could get continuation from a kind of structure like this. So I'm cautiously optimistic. You know, ultimately, long term, crypto is going to do extremely well. But in the short term, there's going to be a lot of volatility and you shouldn't get sucked into it. I see these people changing their opinions day in, day out, day in, day out. Um, literally every day, they're bullish, bearish, bullish, bearish, putting up different use cases. Have an overarching opinion. And then, of course, there's nothing wrong with changing your opinion as data presents itself. But just don't be so emotional. Um, it, it's it's not really good. To, I don't really like to see. It kind of feels to me like markets have got people right where they want them on the edge of their kind of seats for every little move. That's not how you want to be a trader or an investor because um, you'll get caught up in the kind of FOMO or the FUD to either the down or upside and, and you'll, it'll be an expensive um, fault that you'll make. But human beings are human beings and, you know, I'm not going to change that. So thank you very much for watching, guys. If you've enjoyed this content, the like is always appreciated. So is the comment. I look forward to seeing you all in the next YouTube video. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gents.